this is Johannes. And this is Cinema. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we're taking a look at Robin of Luxley. Which is this game right here. It is designed by Mr. Uwe Rosenberg and it's published by Wormgold. It's a two-player game and it plays in about 30 minutes. So this is another one of these smaller Uwe Rosenberg games. Yeah. He also had Nova Luna this year that was a co-design. But this is his only, like not his only design, this is only him designing this one. So this game is kind of a racing game. You are like the theme here is something. It's an abstract game, but it is some theme they tried to put up here like some Robin Hood game. But there's also a female Robin Hood and you're competing in robbing the most hoods. <laughs> I don't know. You are, you are basically, you have a horse from chess. I don't remember what's the horse called in chess. I don't, I don't know. remember. But you are moving it about a grid the same way that it does in chess to gather these treasure tiles and trying to gather the correct treasure tiles, correct amount of treasure tiles, the correct different types of treasure tiles, to be able to move your bard, which is uh, it's called, it's abstract game, where you move him around the, the square, where there is a set of different goals that you have to do for each move. You can either complete a goal or you can pay a coin. You will be able to sell some of the treasures. If you have enough of them, you can sell them to get coins, which you then can jump over uh, different goals that you cannot complete. You're going to complete two tracks around that, so it's basically a racing game, going two times around completing these goals, and the first player to complete the second round is the winner of Robin van Luxley. It's a pretty simple game. Yeah, it is. Does that make sense? Yeah, it made a lot of sense. But even simple games need rule books, and this has a rule book. It looks like this, kind of like the cover. It's uh, That was in German. It's a German and, and English rule book. I do not like these kind of rule books. I like it when they make them two separate ones so I can throw away one part so I don't need to have all of this German which I will never read. This is a pretty straightforward rule book. It has like the first two pages is basically almost blank and the components then you have the setup. Pretty good visuals and easy to see. That was really light for you so you probably won't see anything but it's a pretty simple straightforward rule book. It has though like most of the Rosenberg games has like little faces of Uwe Rosenberg. Here he's wearing like a Robin Hood hat, but it looks like he's wearing like a a women hat. So it looks kind of like a, a fun, it's almost Uwe Rosenberg in drag. This is going to probably be the closest thing you will ever come to that. So if you want to see that, buy the game. But it's really straightforward and the games are super simple. I basically explained the rules. So the rule book, thumbs up. Yeah, nice. But it's a super simple game though. It is. Yeah. It's absolutely super simple. So um, the artwork and components here, what do you think? Yeah, there are like wooden player tokens. Yep. I, I think those are nice. Mm -hmm. And the artwork for the jewelry and treasure you can pick up mm -hmm. is yeah, pretty neat. Yeah. It looks like popping with colors, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's standard. It's nothing yeah. like groundbreaking about it. Good quality, looks yeah. good on the table, good colors. Yes. That's it, yeah. Fits the theme if there is any. <laughs> Which there's not. So <laughs> this game says that it should be played in 15 to 30 minutes plus. Which I always enjoy. Like, it's a two hour plus game. Like, it's going to take from five minutes to 6,000 minutes plus. <laughs> Makes no sense. Uh, so this game, I have no idea how you can play it in 15 minutes. Uh, the times you play it take about between 30 and 40 minutes playing it, depending on and uh, basically depending on the treasures and how hard it was to get the different treasures and then not the treasures the different goals in yeah. that order which they came out yeah so about the half an hour um which feels okay doesn't feel like it's dragging for me what do you think no it doesn't oversay as welcome for mm -hmm. sure it feels like a racing game all yes. the way so then you are like a bit on your toes and wanted to like yeah speed up so it feels over like quite fast yeah and there's enough things to think about like i enjoy the placement of the horse to be able to like you place him somewhere and now you know that you can take this and this tile and some placements if you place in the corner you know you have really few op uh, options to where to go basically only one tile that you can take and sometimes you can put yourself in bad situations that way sometimes you will of course have some luck with what tiles get put out because you always fill up new tiles from the space where you left um, mm. But it feels like you, you, you can like you need to do some planning. Like you need to be able to because you can buy yourself through someone. You will do that. You will not win this game, I think, by not paying through some goals because mm. they are hard to continue. Like depending really on how they get laid out. Mm. But if you lay them out like randomly, you will probably which which you should. You will probably get some that really contradicts other, which are 
adjacent or really near so you will have a hard time getting those so you have to choose basically a bit ahead which ones you want to actually complete and which ones you want to jump jump over and, and skip with coins i really enjoy that yeah i do too i think that being able to skip some of the goals makes it more fun mm -hmm. because then you would sit like and have like super bad luck as one player yeah. maybe or just like s didn't see that far ahead and mm -hmm. you stop having fun um, but now, okay, you are in a tight spot, but now you can just like, okay, spend three rounds collecting the, so you can sell one resource at mm -hmm. least, and yeah. then you can skip it. So I like that. What I really like is that the same thing that we talked about with Nova Luna that you saw in the playthrough is that this is a game that can really flip over. Like if, if someone yeah. is really far ahead, you can easily just be like, boom, and you just move past. Like the last game we played, you were really in the lead the whole game. And just at the end, I come and I squeezed past you and basically one round before you, I won. Yeah, that and was that was not fun, but I like that. Okay, you it can seem like, uh, yeah, the skies are gray and you're not gonna win, but don't give up because uh, the player can get stuck. Some it almost, here, yeah. almost sounds like you start like a, a motivational speak, <laughs> like the skies are grey, but remember that the, the sky is always blue, that the sky is not going to be grey, it's going to be the, the clouds are grey okay, or something. Yeah, that, but I that's think it's, you say something like that, like if, if, the, if something is grey, it will be blue. It sounded a little poetic, but yeah, uh, I, I, it, you can, it look, can look bad, but uh -huh. just keep up and you can like, it can turn around so quickly. You can do it. You we, can do we it. We believe in you. Uh, welcome to the new yes, motivational you can, channel. You can do this in you. life too. I think it applies to <laughs> that as well. If your horse won't go where you want it to, just wait a couple of turns and you will get that jewelry. Yes, that's true. That's, that's But why. I think it's really interesting. <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> yes, I think it's really interesting the way that the horse moves. Uh -huh. Because I, I, I try to like... Uh, plan a few turns ahead mm -hmm. but sometimes you just like oh i need that placement but i don't don't need that tile mm -hmm. because i need that tile the next round and then mm -hmm. blah 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 uh, that is cool yeah i enjoy that it's fun that they took the the chess movement because and if you have ever, ever played chess or seen chess like in your life you will know how it works and it's really intuitive yeah. it, it won't feel like clunky like okay it moved like this and then up here it, it's really simple the movement and it's easy to see the plane to plan it and it's easy to see where you, you can go next and yes. and be able to get the tiles which i really like yeah absolutely so what do you think about replayability i think it's cool that it's not like a set um what we'll call it the goals the order or, yeah, yeah. of the goals mm -hmm. so we had like some of the tiles now that was really hard to complete after uh -huh. each other yeah. and some that just one all of the line was just like boop 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 yes. we got it all and that uh, contributes to the replayability yeah and also you don't use all of them they're like uh, yeah cool. the, the, you're using the start and the finish one is always the same and i think there is uh, i'm gonna check actually because i have the rule book you have the rule so book you yeah, it's have, a nice rule book you have eight so you use two so you have six that means that they're gonna be you're gonna use half of the corner pieces and you have 16 small ones and you use 3, 6, 9, 12. Close. So you have 4 you won't use in each game. And you can also play a smaller game if you want to play a shorter game, there is rules for that. Yeah, that's so you cool. can play with only 2 in between uh, the corner pieces instead of, of, of 3. That's nice. Uh, I don't think you would need it, maybe then you can play it in 15 minutes if you need to, but I, I feel like the length of the game is it's not too long and not too short. It feels yeah, I agree. And I would rather like play the short short version uh -huh. than just going one round around. around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I really like that I'm learning from my mistakes the uh -huh. first round and then I can just like set it up to make it better the last round. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Try pretty, at least. <laughs> it feels pretty unusual to do that. Like because you are basically just playing the same game twice. Yeah. Like almost, if you understand what I mean. You're basically yeah. just doing the same thing twice. But I, I agree with you. It feels kind of fresh. It feels kind of that you you know now what to do and you can try to do it better like you just said yes which i i i, I agree i enjoy I that like, like that. quite a bit so um yeah anything else you want to add gameplay wise or, or anything mm, i don't know i was thinking about something and then i totally lost it <laughs> you totally lost <laughs> totally it lost you don't it. look like someone who lost no, it you're, I don't. you're pretty calm for someone who yes. just lost everything <laughs> so should we do final thoughts um yeah you can start and <clears> then i will try to remember what i was thinking about Okay, so I, I, I really like this. I don't like. I feel like this is a pretty sweet two-player game. It's perfect for for couples, for somebody who's not like into 
heavier games and also I really enjoy it for what it is. I think it's a fun 30 minutes. Uh, I like that racing aspect. It feels like uh, you, it feels like a race. It feels like you are trying to just keep ahead and sometimes you have to like think okay I can stay a bit in behind if I know I'm building up to something and then I can just race past you. I really enjoy that aspect. Uh, I don't think there's anything here that's like groundbreaking as we're saying for a lot of games because there is most games are just some variants and some takes on other things and not everything have to be new new mechanisms or new stuff happening this game is just pleasant it works it is uh, fun to play there's nothing super super cool or or new but it's fun it works and i like it i want to keep it in the collection if that's okay with you yeah and we can get discuss that now. I'm just I, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk about that later. But yeah, I I, I really like it. I'm gonna give it a seven point five. Which oh. um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this game quite a bit, and I hope to play it again. So that is my final thoughts. What do you think? Yeah, I like this game too. I think it's a neat two-player game. Yes. I think that he took some of the most interesting parts from Reichold. Which is and, Oscar, yeah. Yes, and did it like use those to make a better game. Mm -hmm. um, I think that this is more fun than Rykold because the mm -hmm. most enjoyable thing for me about Rykold is the track that you're the like, racing. Yeah, yeah, the optimization puzzle and moving those things around. So mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that he has like brought that. I, I would say that is a new element. I have not seen it in many other the games. The racing one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I, yes. I really enjoy that he used that in some other games as mm -hmm. well. And He's good with that. He usually finds yeah. something like next year's probably going to do this again. Like now we did all the Tetramino games. He did like yes. four, five, six, seven, eight thousand of those. And now he's onto this. But uh, I, I like his exploring that. and finding out new stuff to use mechanisms for as well like that. Yeah, I agree. And this is perfect as a two-player game. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know how much I need to play it to be like satisfied with mm -hmm. it, but I, I do enjoy it and it's, it's a solid game, so I'm going to give it a 6.5. Cool! So I like it a bit more than you, but that's yeah. okay. I am Mr. Enthusiasm! <laughs> that's you. <laughs> that's you! So that's the end of another video, right? Yes. So if you are still here, please subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. You can also check us out on Patreon if you want to support us more. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. And I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye-bye.